Hello everyone, this is Jonathan White, and uh, this is the result of some work over the summer um, on tank assault. Now, most of you probably do not know what tank assault is, so let me briefly explain what this game is. It's a graduate level project um, we're doing on our own. The team has recently grown quite a bit. It started in November of 2009. And the idea is to create a multiplayer game in which people will select from a number of different tanks, each with their own different abilities, or not quite so tank-like, uh, but via combat vehicles, rather, and go head-to-head -head in multiplayer, like, different modes of play. So our little next version of our alpha, so to speak, is we have a number of tanks for you to choose from, and you guys can play this and screw around on it if you want <coughs> uh, on our blog, which is... It should be linked in the video description, or you're either you're already there if you're watching the video from the blog. Uh, and you just pick a tank here. This is our grizzly battle tank. We have uh, the cockroach, or just the roach, and we have the wraith. Uh, there will be more tanks coming, but these are what we've decided to work on for now. So I'm going to choose the grizzly here, and this is our this is our awesome loading screen. <laughs> you can also see the stats from the top left hand corner. Now, uh, just some, before I start here, a, a warning. Clearly, everything here is not final. Uh, nothing is optimized, so it may run per, sort of choppy on your computer. Um, you can see out down there, uh, there's some AI tanks that you can fight for fun. Um, there are some sound effects, and they're sort of working. So, um, you can mess around with that. And the buildings are destructible. So you just kind of shoot a little bit, and that's how to go down. We have some silly explosion stuff going on here, compliments of uh, some more modelers. So um, you can use WASD to go forward and backward and turn your tank. The, uh, the mouse controls where you look and fire. The left click will fire your primary weapon. The right click will fire your secondary weapon if it's, if it's working, and sort of working on this tank. It will be homing rockets, but right now it just shoots a kind of a kind of a blob of stuff right now. Um, and this tank is not working. Yeah, it is sort of working. And spacebar is the third ability for this tank. It's a it's a boost, but it's really working kind of odd. That guy just chased me down. And of course, uh, the right on the right side is your uh, left side of the screen is your health bar. Um, so it took to to get out of the tank, hit escape, and this button up here should come back if you hit it enough times. So click on that, and you can choose a new vehicle. I'm going to choose the Wraith here. Um, and, yeah, that's kind of what the idea is. So uh, you can go ahead, you guys can go ahead and round and mess with that, but I just wanted to explain a little bit what's going on uh, with this project. Hopefully, and this is like really hopefully, um, this will catch the eye of someone that wants to put in some real resources into this. Um, we most we are, are just students. I don't shouldn't say just students. We are students, um, but we work pretty hard on what we have so far. This was only after a month or so. The game engine we're using is Unity. If you haven't already guessed that, uh, and yeah, so we're really excited about making a making a game and uh, breaking into the industry. We have a team of uh, designers, artists, and uh, programmers. So we kind of have everything that we need. I mean to a basic degree, but we know this can go a lot farther. So let me talk a little about the tanks. Is, uh, that's kind of my thing, is I'm kind of leading up the design side of this, since my favorite part is uh, what things actually do. The tanks themselves are each going to be pretty dynamic and unique. This tank is the Wraith. Now the Wraith is uh, lower armored than the Grizzly we saw, but he is faster, and he kind of hovers. It's kind of hard to tell, but he does hover. Um, you can kind of go over things, well, sort of, kind of go over the center divider a little bit. Um, <clears throat> In theory, this tank is supposed to be an ambush tank, so if I hit spacebar, I can turn invisible. Uh, now, obviously the graphics aren't final, but when I turn invisible, I think the AI tanks, they look at you, but they don't fire at you. Let's find out. Yeah, so, there won't be a single player in this game, but we decided to throw some AI tanks just for just for some silliness. Yeah, um, so but when I turn on spacebar, he comes after me and starts hunting me again. But so this this idea of this tank is it's, a, it's an ambush tank. Now, its primary fire is like a barrage of, like, of energy, and, and this energy, uh, it has a really high initial DPS value, and then it will, 
and, with, and then the tank has a long reload time. And that's so that the, the idea is to encourage players to kind of sit around a corner and you move out and you unload a, a clip on an enemy and then you move back behind the corner and while you're reloading. Um, its secondary ability is an EMP canister and it has an arc on it so you have to aim upwards until it hits. And this ability will shut down enemy tanks uh, momentarily. So using this, these cloaking abilities and this disabling ability um, really allows players to have to do exactly what I would like to have happen is, is ambush tank. It's not good in direct combat, but it is good around corners and being sneaky and poking people in the butt with it. Uh, a third uh, element that's important about this tank to know is that it will have an energy pool which governs its abilities. So what that means is it will have, I don't remember the number, I think it's 500 is maximum energy. Um, and each, each thing you do, whether it's cloak or fire off a canister or use your main cannon, um, it will be governed by how, those abilities will be governed by how much energy you have and how well you manage your energy, which of course regenerates as you're not using abilities. So that's kind of this tank. And um, I'm going to hit escape here, go to start from the top left corner. Um, our Grizzly, which we already saw, uh, kind of the middle of the road tank. It, it boasts pretty uh, adequate firepower, uh, armor, and mobility. Um, so in the hands of a skilled player, it will become quite deadly. And uh, it has a main cannon fire, obviously. I think I'm getting shot somewhere. Um, and its, its secondary ability will fire off homing rockets. I think it works sort of right now. If you hit control, and then I can fire off just one at a time, or two at a time, it can fire off eight eight per barrage, and each rocket's on its own uh, 10 second recharge, but that's not implemented right now. Its third ability, which is really buggy right now, is a speed boost, and you can uh, sort of speed boost, <laughs> more like wreck. Um, this has been working sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work, so we've been kind of going back and forth on this one, but the idea is that this tank has... Um, a temporary speed boost you can enable and disable uh, on a on like a, a recharge to allow you to uh, kind of speed in and out of battle and become more mobile from your opponents. Uh, and the third tank, the third and final tank, is the Roach. And this little guy is more like a dune buggy sort of thing. And it's also worth mentioning that these models are definitely not final. Um, the only one that's even close to being final is the Grizzly, but it will still go under. It will still undergo many changes. The Roach here, this little guy, is sports a machine gun, and uh, of course it's very powerful in this mode. And he flips around a lot. <laughs> the idea is that this guy is kind of a harassing unit, and he's very quick. He's good at capturing the flag and capture the flags out game modes. He's going to have an ability which you can lay a landmine. This will detonate in a few seconds. It doesn't. But uh, it's it like a traditional landmine, and its um, its third ability, which is not implemented yet, is a stationary cloak. So kind of like how a real cockroach um, will, if I don't know why I know this, but actually I know this from my father. <laughs> um, the uh, a real cockroach will um, go stationary when it's scared and it will think that it's hiding and it will just stand still. <clears throat> so using the idea, if you don't move and you don't fire and you just sit there and you hit spacebar, it you will turn invisible. But like I said, it's not implemented. Instead right now what is on spacebar is what will be on the control uh, button is what's called perch. And it's sort of working right there. It's kind of working. It gives you a little bit higher. Yeah, it's kind of not working very well. Uh, it's, I am perched right now, but I can't go back down. There we go. So. The idea is that you can perch up and over cover, that was sort of working, and you can uh, then fire over an indestructible barrier, or destructible one if you so choose. So this guy, is, um, he's going to become faster, but the idea is a fast, kind of a hit and rat, hit and run, uh, harassing unit, flag stealer, annoying little vehicle. So that's kind of the game we have right now. Um, hope you guys keep in contact with uh, the updates. Hopefully in the next, over fall, we're going to add some serious art to this game. Um, we're getting a lot of functionality down. <laughs> I like that. I my little trick, that was pretty cool. Um, a lot of the functionality down, and now I'm stuck. And um, getting our, our process, like how we're actually making this. Uh, there's a lot of 
production work that needs to be done. You wouldn't even believe it has to go into making a game unless you're familiar with this already. Um, just so many things that we're just learning, and it's, it's a blast. So I hope you guys keep in touch with this uh, a lot and look forward to maybe one day having Tank Assault on the shelves. We'll see. Thanks for watching.